Hi there. Um, I wanted to show off uh, a little bit of a project I've been working on the last couple of days. Um, I built a digital clock on Minecraft. Um, I'm going to start explaining it off from the ground up. Um, at the very, very base of the clock, we have this, which is a timer, um, which times 10 seconds out and then fires this redstone circuit which in turn fires this counter um, I've kind of designed it, pretty much designed all this myself just you know troubleshooting little projects on, on my own and that um, and come up with a, a few little tricks and that to, to get by on what I needed to make a clock um, pretty much just self taught everything that I've, I've done here within two or three days um, quick explanation of how it works is on each level so for instance this is the tens of seconds level so this you know every time that that previously shown circuit over that side um, fires this will count tens of seconds so we'll go up you know, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and then go back to 0 because then it'll fire off to 1 minute um, and the way I've been doing this is these little circuits which once you fire into this side when I say fire just light up this redstone circuit here into this block where the sign is it will alternate this little mini circuit over here as it you can see it just did and in doing so it deactivates the previous one um, ensuring that this one doesn't get activated again and activates this piston over here which pushes up this brick allowing the circuit to flow into the next bit and the reason for that is so that the next number in the sequence will fire and the previous one will get deactivated so it's not counted anymore so that at that time this is the only one that's counted until it fires again and I've used this system all the way throughout this clock. First of all over here to count um, six tens sorry not six tens of a second but six tens of second oh however you say it, you guys know what I mean. Um, if we move up one level um, or on the way to moving up one level to the minutes uh, the way I've done it is that when the tens of seconds fires it gets put into a mixer with the 50 second um, circuit so when the 50 second circuit is activated and the, the tens of seconds fires again then it'll, it'll go on and fire a minute because it would have counted exactly a minute from when it got started that will then take this and go f fire this off and basically a repeat of the same system just on a bigger scale instead of 6 it's this time it's 10 for the 10 minutes that are within 10 minutes if that makes sense because you start with naught and you end on 9 which is 10 numbers and as such on this one when it reaches 9 it then fires up and passes it on to a tens of minutes hand I mean tens of minute counter which counts to 6 as you ha have 60 minutes in an hour and then this will then pass on 
to an hour counter which counts 12 hours so this one over here is the big one which has 12 of these little circuits if you have a look where each one of the signs is and so on and so forth um, and then on the minutes hand the minute times I have done these um, circuit lines taking the current up to the clock faces which is way 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 over here and then connected up to a clock face which is using red um, redstone pistons, sticky pistons and that gives me a re reasonably good way of dis displaying this the time sorry um, now going back to down over here um, nice little f features which I've managed to add are um, buttons to adjust the time which hold on I just got myself lost <laughs> Um, adjust time, adjust time, adjust time. Here we go. This is for the minutes, tens of minutes. Sorry, and that that just adds one, as it's it's basically just firing as if tens of minutes is just passed again to the circuit, which will make make the count, ma make you move along in the the circuit chain. Um, and then that will in turn wh when that reaches its limit fire up to this one which is our ah there it is and then here's the adjust time for the hour circuit and this will just add one hour to the time um, I'm going to just pop outside now just to show you the clock face and as far as I can tell this is keeping time accurately um, the time there is actually 40 minutes but I've been having problems with the pistons not being sticky enough and not grabbing the, the wool back um, not pulling that back in when it's meant to um, the time is a little bit ahead on that, as that is 3.40. Let's see what that is. 3.48. It's about 10 minutes ahead. Um, but I always rather be early than late. <laughs> um, this is this took me about two days to build and develop um, there's still a few little bugs here and there but I'm slowly working around them and you know yeah get my act together on them um, as you can see we cleared a little bit more space because originally um, the design I was working with took up a hang of a lot more space um, and I've since then streamlined this as I, I used to for instance on these used to use three blocks by sorry five blocks by f five blocks for each one of the counters which as you can imagine makes it would have made it a hang of a lot bigger um, just on this level for instance there's six counters adding two by two yeah that's what four squared space I mean that that four squared times six you know that's quite a bit so I, I figured it's better to just condense it as much as possible um, I probably could get this all these circuits a lot more efficient but it's all in place now and I'd rather just leave it as is um, now the real pain comes in trying to 